I okay? Well, yeah, of course I am. <laughs> I guess I should have known better. I can't really hide anything from you. Yeah, today was not a great day. And unfortunately, my blood supplier was out. Yeah, this is bad. I really have been craving some blood. As vampires really rely on blood suppliers. I guess the supply chain people have been talking about is hitting everyone. Especially if it's hitting the vampire community too. Yeah, I guess I'll go hungry tonight. Wait, what? Are you serious? No, I'm not mad. It's just, I'm surprised. I mean, I've always loved you so much and respected your boundaries. And I know how weary you are of blood. And I always thought it was odd that you love me since I literally live off of blood from being a vampire. I never really thought of you would be willing to let me feed on you. You're amazing. I love you. Right. Why don't we get prepared for this? I'll try to think of the best place to do this. We don't want to get bloodstains all over the couch, so I suppose we could do it standing up? Are you sure you're okay with this, sweetie? I'm happy to go hungry tonight, if you're uncomfortable. You're so sweet, so brave. I really do appreciate this. Now, follow me. Alright, do me a favor. Take some deep breaths. I'm sure you're nervous, sweetheart. Breathe in. Breathe out. That is good. Now, it could hurt a little bit, or you might not feel much. I hope it doesn't hurt too much. You ready? You're such a brave person. I'll make sure this is quick. I'm about to do it. Three, two, one. Don't worry, sweetheart. I got you. Just lay back into me. I'll take you to the couch. Hey, sweetie. Are you awake? Okay, that is good. I was getting a bit worried for a second. No, you weren't out for too long. Only about five minutes. I'm sure you were nervous, so that probably influenced you to faint. No, no, you need to rest on the couch with me. I'm going to give you tons of affection now as a thank you. No, no, I'm not spoiling you. You did such a great job. I'm so proud of you. I know this was extremely nerve-wracking for you. I'm impressed by your bravery, especially since you've always been a bit squeamish of blood. Yes, I'm going to praise my amazing partner who put aside their fear of blood to let me feed from them. Like I said earlier, I knew you were afraid of blood and I thought it was always odd that you wanted to date a vampire, but I really loved you and knew I was going to have to rely on suppliers. How did it feel being fed from? You actually thought it felt good before passing out? Wow, you are really cute. <laughs> yes, I'm going to kiss you, sweetie. You deserve it after being such a brave partner for me. Let me hold you, sweetie. I'm going to play with your hair now, okay? That's good. Feel nice. 
you have a question, okay, ask away. Does your blood taste good? Well, it was actually super tasty. I might have a new favorite blood now. <laughs> but if you don't want to do this again, I understand. You would want to try it again another time? You really are the bravest soul lately. I'm so proud of you. I'll make sure that whenever we do this, you'll feel safe and comfortable after it. Eventually, you'll probably get used to it. I'm glad that you want to try it again. Oh, no, I should be good for a bit of a time now. Besides, I can't have you losing too much blood. That would be too much for you. I could never lose you, and I know you don't really want to be turned into a vampire, so I can't do that. No, no, don't start talking like that. I will not listen to you saying those things. I do not resent you for not wanting to become a vampire. I know how you are with blood most of the time. I could understand why it may be unappealing. I've been around for quite some time now, about 400 years. Well, it is nice to say eternally young. Being around for so long can have its downsides too. For example, many of my human friends passed away when I'm just practically getting to know them. Though, I must say, I've had a couple partners in the past, but none of them could ever compare to you. Of course, I fed from them. There are various reasons it didn't work. One died, another cheated on me with another vampire, and I decided to stop looking for a partner for a while. That's until I met you, sweetie. You are the love of my life. I hope to stay with you for as long as possible. If you don't choose to become a vampire, you'll eventually pass away. I won't look for a new partner. That's how what you mean to me, baby. I love you so much. I'm glad you're in agreement. Hey baby, I just want to tell you again how much proud I am of how brave you were tonight. That took a lot of courage and I'm really appreciative of that. I love you. <laughs>